What's up guys, it is Brad, or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video, gonna be showing you the location of another unique weapon within the Far Harbor DLC. This is going to be for the Fish Catcher, it is the last unique item that I'll be showing you guys in a video that you can simply purchase from a vendor in the town of Far Harbor. I believe I have one more unique item you can purchase that I'll show you guys you can get in Acadia, and then I have the ones from the Children of Adam that I will be covering soon after that, but... What you guys are going to want to do is go to the NPC named Alan Lee here, and we've gotten some other unique items from him before, such as the Admiral's Friend Harpoon Gun. You're going to want to go into the trade screen with him here and head over to Weapons, and then scroll down until you guys see the Fish Catcher at the bottom. So let's go ahead and inspect this. The Fish Catcher. 40% less action point cost, so when it comes to melee weapons, obviously your AP gets used up decently quick. Uh, with this weapon, though, because of that 40% less action point cost, you are going to be able to get a lot more swings out with this weapon. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, we have damage 207. The speed is slow, unfortunately. Uh, the weight is 9.8, though, so it makes sense there. And then the value is 340. That, of course, is what it's going to cost you when you buy this weapon. And then down in the bottom right-hand corner, the current mods on here is uh, puncturing. And that's it. I believe there's only one mod you can really switch this uh, weapon off with. I'll go ahead and purchase this real quick and we actually can take a look. I did resell the weapon to him right there so I could show you guys how much roughly you're going to be paying for this weapon. But we'll check out right now to see exactly what you can switch on this. Uh, maybe it started with no upgrade. I think it probably started looking like this with no upgrade. So the value might be a little bit less than what it normally would be when you purchase it from him. Meaning that you're just going to be spending less caps when you buy it from him if you decide to. That's a good thing, obviously. And then the one mod that you can get here, like I said, is puncturing, which is armor piercing and superior damage. Uh, it actually makes quite a difference here. As you can see, you go from 138 to 207. So definitely something to take note of there uh, that that is a mod I probably put on the weapon and not a mod that starts with it so if you guys are going to get this weapon make sure to put that mod on there anyway guys that's going to be about it for this video if you've enjoyed or found this helpful feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come thanks for watching everyone and peace out